Well, welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom Brown and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines, and we're going to review the round of football that's just been played, which is round seven. seven. Yes. Gentlemen, how are you tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. You you seem like you've got something brewing underneath. You seem like <laughs> you're always brewing. You want to give big. something more than what you're Pretty good. Well, his team's winning, so he's now actually not in the pit of despair. <laughs> not, that's right. I'm not in the pit of despair. <laughs> he can focus on other things there. So, so now we also need to talk about the winners' circle, do we? The, All three of us again, two again. weeks in a row, and it's only my club that's letting us down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it is. Okay, gentlemen. Round seven started out on Thursday night. Uh, with the Penrith Panthers up against the Newcastle Knights, Penrith winning twenty four six. Mm. It was Penrith. a good game, yeah. but Penrith off their game two weeks in a row. Let's make it three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would that be? So you're off your game and you win twenty four six. Oh, they are. But as, as I was saying to Steve, uh, we were watching the game, games on the weekend, and um, you know, and I, and I'll say it again. I think that Panthers side. I know they haven't won anything yet, yeah. but. When they do, and I think it's a matter of when, not if, I, I think that they will be one of the teams that you look back at and you, you look at and you say, that is a great team that would win across errors. Mm. I think they're nearly, they're nearly there. Look at this. Um, Dylan Edwards, 267 metres. Brian Toll, 336 metres. What a machine. James Fisher-Harris, 192 metres. Oh, Brian, so, Brian Toho, surely, surely we're going to pick wingers on the wing for Origin and he's in the frame. Well, Tom, we'll talk about this in a couple of weeks, but Brian was con- trying to convince me on the weekend that Brian Toho should be on in the state of Origin. Right. We'll I'm talk, not sure. We'll talk about that soon. Well, let's talk about it now. Oh, no, Jeez. we haven't got time. Show goes yes or no? Please. Well, yes or no? He's saying no, I'm, I'm saying not, yes. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if he's... <laughs> I, don't know what he's I don't know what his defence is like, um, but need a good defender in that position. Brilliant. He didn't bring his conversational etiquette with him, did he? I know, he Boy. didn't, did he? He's so... Is he, is he grumpy tonight? He must no, be. I'm not grumpy at all. I think he's grumpy. I had a great weekend. My daughter got married, <laughs> but I'm <am> exhausted because <laughs> I went to... And he's got to put up with us? <laughs> well, there you go. He said it, not me. Yep. I don't know. I think uh, it's just. I think the, the difference between those two teams again was uh, Nathan Cleary. He seems to be the difference every week when yep. the Panthers Look, play. I used the word the other day: patient. They're just patient. Yep. You know, they just um, they just try to work the other team out and find the chink in the armor, and then yep. they go for it. And then once they've actually broken you, then they start laying on the points. Yep. You know. I thought, yeah, like I said, I, I didn't think the I didn't think the Knights played that poorly. I mean, mm. only one try. They looked a bit disorganized without Mitchell Pierce, but. You know, and everything falls back to Kalen Ponga. But, um, yeah, Nathan Cleary. I think if he's playing for the Knights, they win. Yep. You think so? But yep. Not. No, no, I, I do. I do. I think I think that that's the difference. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, what, what are we saying about Newcastle, though? Is it just their injuries or do they have... They're just not going to oh, be look, there this year. You know what? They're it's, not ready. <clears throat> it's, it's really hard when you've got a, a pile of injuries. Hmm. And... And you don't know what those players are going to bring back. But well, Mitchell Pierce is out for another couple of months. Yeah. If they don't start winning a couple of games in his absence, the it'll be, season will be gone. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. you, we can't, you can't just... playmaker. You can't just say injuries. Yeah. But, yeah, it is their injuries. Mm, for sure. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to Gold Coast uh, and South Sydney at Seabus Super Stadium where the Rabbitohs won 40 to 30... In a very high scoring game. Well, it was what, twenty four to six or something like that half time? Twenty four ten? Twenty four ten. I mean look, you take David Fafita out of that out of that team and Titans weren't that fantastic really. Well th- and we did in the second half. <laughs> because yeah. he disappeared. Yeah, that's he, right. He he absolutely killed South in the yeah. first half. Yep. Yeah. If, if anywhere within the ten metres of the try line they couldn't stop him. And so mm-hmm. you can't be a one-man team, and that's that's unfortunately what they're looking like at the moment. Hey, if you're a one-man team and it's winning, you just keep going, Tommy. Oh, I mean, yeah, Tommy. But, but it, proved, it proved in the second half that the Rabbitohs worked out what they needed to do. They they yeah they um they got on top of him, yeah. and then they rolled over the top. You you had to have been worried at half time, Steve. <laughs> 20, 24 10. I, I'm yeah. not sure worried was the word I used. But I was concerned. Let's say. <laughs> At twenty four ten, and I thought, you know what? All he has to come out and stay in the same mood that that he was in in the first mm-hmm. half, and we don't have hope. Mm. Uh, but he disappeared in the second half, and yeah. then Benji took control. Oh, didn't he? What? And he had a blinder of a second half. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Those clubs that knock Benji Marshall back must just be looking at themselves going, what have we done? But, but I don't think that anybody oh. could have could have guessed from his season last year at the Tigers oh. that he would come out and play this well. It, it, it's vintage. Vintage Benji. Oh, I, th- I, I, even, I even think it's better than vintage. I, was, I, I think well, he's got a wise head I th- now. I, that's right. I, th- I think as as a youthful 5'8", he was all speed and cut out passes and flicks and... Uh, all the fancy stuff. Now he just intelligent. works and waits and yeah. picks his moment. Brilliant. He's yeah. a team player now, whereas before he's an individual. But yeah, that's good. You point. know what? The dif- the difference with Benji now, I think, even going back a couple of years when he was at the Tigers, <coughs> he's now playing behind a successful pack. Yep. And a, and a, a in a team that can actually score points yeah. and doesn't just yeah. rely. Here's the ball, Benji. Go and score us some sure. points. Question so for question for you, Steve. Then. Okay. Luke Brooks. Much maligned Luke Brooks yeah. has has very rarely played behind a dominant forward pack. Yep. If he was at uh, one of your clubs with a big dominant forward pack or Melbourne, would he be more successful? Yes. Would he also have a better coach? No, Maguire's a very good coach. Yeah, I know, but I mean, but I think he'd be uh, in a better coaching system. Yeah, I'm but I, yeah, Maguire is a good the, coach. The, but... the only problem is, is that is that um, Souths have had a succession plan with coaches. The Roosters have had uh, Robinson for a long time. Yep. Uh, poor Luke Brooks has had, was it, was it Tim? Five, five started coaches. with Tim five Sheens, Jason Ta- Like, five what's going years. on? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know. Yeah. And, and the, the worst thing I think that the Tigers can do right now is sack the coach. Oh, yeah. Got, because they've had the same <clears throat> core players through the yes. last four or five years yeah. where they've kept sacking coaches. It's not the coach. Yep. yep. Either way, why are we talking about the Tigers? They're not uh, up to them yet. But, uh, because uh, because Luke Brooks. Yeah. yeah. So look, the bunnies. You know, if, if it wasn't for Benji in that second half, I think we we're a little bit lost. Uh, Cody Walker at fullback. Mm, I'm not sure. Look, he was a uh, fill-in. He was okay. He was a fill-in. He's an option. He was an option. But yeah, I mean, he's not... oh, Gagai might have been a better option at fullback. No, because he runs the ball back fast. But then, but then, you know, let's face it. The option is you're putting Benji Marshall into five eight. So. Cody Walker's got to go somewhere. Got to go somewhere. Sure. Yeah. And look, he did a good job. I'm not denying that. Oh, but absolutely. He, he didn't have the impact I thought he would, but anyway. All right, let's go on to TIO Stadium where the Parramatta Eels beat Brisbane Broncos 46 to 6. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought this was going to be a lot closer than what it was. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't think Penrith, I don't think Parramatta got out of second gear. No, yeah. they didn't. They looked yeah. they looked average at times and won by 40 points. Yeah. yeah. So, Janelle, Steve, I'll just let you know out there, Janelle and Stephen, our two Parramatta supporters, because okay, there's, there's only two of them, I'm sure, um, didn't get out of second gear and won by 40 points. Mm. You've got to be happy with that performance. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Broncos, a few steps backwards from the last week? A few steps backwards from last year. This time last year, they had won more games than one. <laughs> so, well, we did say at the beginning of this year that they're actually not as good a team as what they were last year because of the players they've lost. So, yep. Yep. Wow. Yep, yep. But, Kev, I don't know what Kevy does. Uh, you know, you're going to have to have a massive clean out, surely. Uh, well, there's, there's 18 players. players coming off the board. They so. buy Adam Reynolds. Well, that's, that's... Adam Reynolds goes nowhere. Adam, sign that. Take the money. Take the money, absolutely. Take the contract. Live, living, it up, living it up in Brisbane. Or Sharks. He doesn't want to leave. He already turned sharks down North Queensland. Sharks are close. No, Sharks aren't close. He doesn't want to live yeah, there. Yeah, well, there's a spot there now because Chad, Chad Hansen's gone. No, no, gone. no, no. Just a little low. Sign with the bunnies. <laughs> anyway, talking about the Sharks. Yeah, paranoid. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're right. Parramatta didn't get out of second gear. Brisbane don't look like they have a gear. Yep. Because they were very disjointed. I mean, look, their forwards... Payne Haas had a great game. Payne oh, had a decent he, game. Man, Payne Haas, he's a, he's a machine. Yeah. In, in a beaten team, yeah. man, 100% every so, week so regardless. So ask the question, Dearden is going to go to the Cowboys. Yep. And now he's got dropped for Milford. And he's got dropped, well, <laughs> which, yeah. But honestly, given he's supposed to be running that team, what good is he going to be at the Cowboys? Well, they're going to end up with three halves. They're going to drink water and... And uh, Townsend and did, and so one of them's going to end up in in second grade. So. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Uh, let's go on to Net Strata Jubilee Stadium, where there was a this was a controversial game and an interesting result. Mm. The Bulldogs beating the Sharks 18-12 after leading eighteen nil. Only saw the highlights of this, so I was in the middle of a wedding. Did you miss? Uh. Did you miss the tackle? Uh, oh, the Talakai. No, I saw that in the highlights. Right. What, what did it you think? What did you think? What did you think, Tom? Oh, it was, it was terrible. It was a shocker. 
Really? Yes, absolutely. I'll let you take this one, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a shock. Well, you know, I, I'm no great judge of because I didn't grow well, up. We know there, that, but. but but I thought it was an absolute shocker, and I think he got well, he deserved what he got. Well, can you because this is the I the first I'm game? Take this one. Well, no, no, I want to know what what constitutes a shoulder charge. Good question. I'm serious because I anybody because I, I thought it was when you hit a player with your shoulder in a motion to stop him, and, and your and arm is tucked, and your arm is tucked. His arm was out. Yeah, but I thought he, his, shoulder shoulder, his shoulder shoulder was first. But the arm should be first, shouldn't his, it? No, he's, you've got to make you've got to make an effort to the wrap, wrap, the yeah. wrap the player up with your arm. Wrap the player up with your arm. I think I thought I, his shoulder was a lot a lot earlier than his arm was at. I thought it was oh, a no, brilliant. He, there's no doubt he hit him with a shoulder. There's absolutely yep. no doubt. But to me, that's not a shoulder charge. This is a shoulder charge. This that, is not. Yeah. It, every and, and in fact, if you go back and watch the Roosters Ooh, yeah. game. There were three tackles yeah, that Crichton Roosters players pretty, made. Yeah. Exactly, exactly the same. same. Well, I saw Crichton's. Crichton's wasn't as bad as Talakai's. But why, why but, was but it not it as bad? Like, it, to me, it looked like a shoulder charge. Because no. because it was because exactly the, the same and motion. He hit him front on as well. Whereas, whereas oh, this guy hitting from the side, side on. Yeah, Talakai hitting from the side. But, um, but it, it's still not a. To me, that's not a. I saw nothing wrong. I don't yeah. even. I didn't did, even see. Him did you watch the games together? No, not this game. We were watching it though, obviously. Yeah, I didn't even see him hit and, him in the head. And when he hit him, him, I've gone, what a hit! Yeah, and then they've gone 10 in the bin, shoulder charge. I've gone, and they're showing the replays with his arm out. Yeah. I don't know. And so, he's taken the early guilty plea. And so he's copping six weeks. Uh, or six, four no, weeks. Four oh, weeks, sorry, four sorry, weeks, six weeks four. if he, cha- if he yeah, fought it. Four, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, and it's, it's, that's probably the smart thing to do, mm. which is why, again, I hate this system yep. of being... You're, you you have to say you're guilty to get back on the field you, earlier. It's you, wrong. You know what they need to do? I've I've decided all those experts out there are all wrong. You hit a player in the head, you instantly get ten in the bin, and you're suspended for three weeks. Bang, full stop. Doesn't matter what kind of a tackle it is. Well the roosters then, don't have a team. Then you need to uh, be oh, reasonable, Steve. Then oh, you go Jaden Sewer. Kalomatangi. Oh, then, no matter what the charge the is, excuse me, I'm still they're, talking. They're, they're yes. You need to go back to the judiciary in order to keep that three weeks or have it extended, because I think that's the only way you're going to get it out of the game. It's too complicated to me. What player gets hit in the head three weeks? Because because well, then you've a, got gradings of how hard you hit them in the yep. head and where well, what, you hit them. Yeah, what the you reaction know, the play, was. The players down this low, which we saw on Sunday night. So, yep. so you're saying you go to the judiciary with a base level of three weeks yep. and fight why it shouldn't be more. Yep, okay. correct. Well, I understand that. That makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd have to think about that, but that sounds reasonable. Because, you know, I mean, they're talking, you know, if the NRL is serious yep. about getting uh, shoulder charges and things out of the game, which I personally like the shoulder charge when they're done properly, as long as they're not hitting someone in the head. Well, the problem is the shoulder charge is an illegal move, so you can't like it well, when it's done properly. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's only illegal if you get caught. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, congratulations, Bulldogs, on your first yes, win. Yes, Bulldogs first win, win the game. Yeah. Emo- emotional night. What happened to the Sharks? They were just... Uh, look, no Wade Graham, no Matt Moylan. I don't know. If I'd known that those two were going to be Adam, out of... do you really want to go to the Sharks? Honestly, do you want to be down the bottom of the table? Yes, he does. Big money. No, he doesn't. All Big right. Money. Money. Take money's, it. Money's not important. Okay. Uh, let's says, go on to... Says, says the senior executive, whatever he is. <laughs> let's call it. Let's call him the senior executive. I don't, I don't do it for the money. Come on, senior... Do it for the satisfaction of, a, of achieving... Oh, come on. Come on, senior executive. What's Move that, on. What's that thing growing out <laughs> in the front of your face? Uh, Queensland Country Bank Stadium, where North Queensland beat the Raiders 26-24... In very controversial circumstances. Was it? Yes. Now, this is oh, a game... Oh, this is the O'Neill offside. Yes. Okay. This is a game where you look at it and you go, see, Sharks, I understand. They lost two big playmakers out of the out of their team. What is going on with the Raiders? Yeah, they're the out of sorts. The don't they? even have two big playmakers. Well, so, yeah. They're out of sorts, aren't they? Yeah, but the neither are the Raiders. Cowboys. Yeah. But, yeah, the Raiders... Look, the Raiders got ripped off in the end. They, oh, yeah. The try that was scored by, by North Queensland at the end was offside. It was, oh, yeah. it was mile off. Everyone yeah. saw it as offside. Yeah. And then, they, then North Queensland... Oh, sorry, then they don't get a penalty. Oh, sorry, North Queensland get a penalty when they're going up for a ball in North Queensland's in goal area. Oh, yeah. I don't know how they got... Both players are looking at the ball. Both players jump. They Yes, they do contact as they're jumping and coming down, but he certainly didn't put him off. Yeah, absolutely. Who was the ref? 
Oh, that was the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, the ref was... Why does that matter? Be- I'll tell you why it matters. Because I've noticed something about this ref. And I'm not, oh, ba- not bagging. Well, is it Adam G? No. Oh, this oh, oh. Will be Brad Atkins. Brad Atkins. Brian McCall. His okay. Opinion only is not the opinion of the show. Damn it, I wish I could remember the name of the ref. Yeah. He refereed the last two Manly games. Uh, and the course. thing... No, no, no. Well, we, <laughs> we, we won two of those. We won both games under him. But what astounded me was the number of captain's challenges that were successful. And in this match as well. Right. Um, I, I understand the captain's challenge is there for the clangers. And sometimes we shake our heads at uh, decisions that are made and wonder... How did they come to that? And that's what they're there for. Yeah. But this referee is being questioned by both teams over the last three games that I've watched him ref. And I've just thought to myself, you can't be continually questioned. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're implying. I, I'm implying that you can't get that many decisions wrong on a football field and still be a first he's not, grade he's ref. Not, oh, okay. he's not, I don't think he's challenging his is uh, his integrity yeah. in no. ch- challenging his competence. Yeah, okay. Which is uh, a different thing altogether. So. Yeah, oh, no, 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 absolutely not his integrity. So uh, Ricky was fairly circumspect. Circumspect. He obviously realises that his team's not playing well at the moment. Yeah. No. Um, not. Um, yeah. The thing is, the Raiders will come good again. At some point in the season, they will come good. Well, here's my problem. Remember last week when I said Souths are playing... Titans, and the week before they got smashed, the Titans got smashed, and now we have to play the Titans. And the week before that, I actually said, the Tigers got smashed, and now we're playing the Tigers. Well, guess what? We're playing the Raiders next week. So. Okay. Where are you playing them? Down there. Oh, okay. I don't think it'll work. I don't think... I think you guys will still get them. But anyway, that's a different story. Interesting. Yep. All right. Brian, this is the one you want to talk about. Let's go to Bankwest Stadium, where <laughs> Brian McCall and Tom <laughs> beat the Tigers... Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. The uh, Tommy Turbo Sea Eagles. <laughs> he, he's, he's had three points in the Dalliums both weeks. Yeah. He's been back surprised? For two weeks, and he's, he's got the man in the match oh. both times. He, he's, he has been playing incredible. Sensational. Yeah. Um, can I, can I say... where it could be if you had him all year? Mm. Yeah. We, it, quite possibly we could have won one extra game because we have played all the top teams. But that's beside the point. Mm. Um it was the way that we lost those games. Yeah. Uh, look, what, what do you say? The, the Tigers the week before came out and nearly got Souths mm. in, a, in a great performance okay. where they continually hit it up through the forwards. They were yeah. fantastic. They worked as a great team. Everything went well. This week, they started off the first 30 minutes. Yeah. I, was, I was on the edge of the seat. It was, it was 6-0 and the Tigers were on top. Manly didn't have the ball. Yep. There was one stat that came up uh, as we were watching it. Manly had the ball in the opposition 21 tackle, and the Tigers had had it for 28. And I'm just going, oh, we're going to get slaughtered. This is going to be so embarrassing. Yeah. And then, Tom. Tom happened. Yeah, <laughs> 210 yeah. metres. Honestly, the first 20 minutes was Tigers. Oh. And then, all of a sudden. Yeah, they switched on. Enough, Manly have scored 76 points to 6 in the past two weeks. Mm. Wow. I know. I'm happy. <laughs> so did you did you hold team to nil last week? Yeah, the yeah, Titans. 36-0. Oh, thirty six nil, that's right. Yeah, 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 yep, yep. And that's we right. should have we should have had this at nil. Tigers Tigers scored a try with a little kick through and uh, it deflected off Cherry Evans, or otherwise Tom would have had it covered. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. It was um And, yeah. and Rapana was um Lelua, sorry. Was on his hands and knees. Hands and he's crawling. Oh, yeah. 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 Funny, yeah. Uh, look and all the young guys stood up. Yep. Um, you know, Homoli stood up, uh, Schuster, Harper. Harper, going great guns. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that win. Mm. I'm not surprised. And, um, and Cherry Evans just looks at home now, doesn't he? Because he's got, oh. he's, he doesn't have to think of everything anymore. Well, uh, yeah, he, he needs to do his, his one percenters now and Tom will worry about the team. And even Foran was playing well. Oh, Foran's playing out of his skin. Yeah. Mm. For, for, on a one year contract, I certainly hope he wants to stay next year. <laughs> So, interestingly enough, I mean, you're going to, you know, they're looking to get rid of Marty to power. They're looking to get rid of some big well, names. And, and in fact, a couple of weeks ago, they were saying it's time to lose some of those big name, big expensive well, players. Yeah. Well, the thing with Marty is that is that I think we paid overs to get him to the club. I don't know how much you guys think a front rower is worth. 
But unless you are the premium front rower in the game, you're not worth 800. No. And that's what he's no. being paid. Yeah. So I think it's more likely they've gone, mate, we're not paying you the same money. If you can get a deal somewhere else, go. There's also talk about Cherry Evans being offered, well, not offered, but the Broncos trying to lure him because he's, because his salary is tied to this to the salary cap. Yep. Um, well, that's actually going to go down this 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 year, next year. Yep. Um, but he's he's chewing up a massive amount of his salaries. Okay. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, but he plays like that, he's worth it. <laughs> yeah, so. can get the wins. Probably so. So yes. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's go on to the Sydney Group Ground. Thirty-four ten is the Sydney Roosters over St George Illawarra. I went to this game. I thought St George would put I've, in a bigger effort. Than I thought St George were ripped. To be perfectly honest. Ripped off. Yeah. Had their first try disallowed for who knows why. It was a knock on from, from Jack Bird. It was not a knock on. No, well, he, well, he lost control of the ball into the other player. No. So I didn't that, think it was a knock on either. That's a try every day of the week. Yeah. And that would have put them ahead and off they would have went. No. <laughs> they're, front, they're front runners so. and the Roosters couldn't get, they just couldn't get it done. You're not just trying to, to get back with Barry because he's upset with you over what you said last week. Mate. I, I said the Dragons would win last week. I might have posted on yeah, on our he, Facebook page yeah, and that... He, and he's not happy with you, let me tell you. Well, let me tell you, I'm not happy with the Dragons. And what I don't understand, what I don't understand is if there's any Dragon fans out there apart from Barry, who wants to take me on, is why did they change their half combination that was winning? Adam Clune comes into the team, plays great guns, and then... Hunt's injured. Yeah, how but... Long, how long have we been here? Oh, long enough. Just shush. Jack Bird well, played 5'8". 21 minutes. There's about 19 minutes of Brian. So why, why did Jack Bird come in and play 5'8"? Why would you change your combination this week, the one week when you play the Roosters, and bring in some young, untried blokes well, up, against, them, up against the Morris boys? Like, seriously, that is a poor decision. All right, All right. Roosters. Yeah, well, you've got to shut up for the next okay. 10 minutes. All right. No, well, you're not taking 10 minutes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Tupo has has, has even seconds. has even uh, even Brett Mullins. Uh, uh, what's Brett his Mullins. name? Not Brett Mullins. Um, Brett Bill Morris. Bill Mullins. Sorry, his Bill father um, for the third highest try scorer, which was fantastic. Um, Joey Manu had to come on after Tedesco went down, and as usual, did a brilliant job in in fullback. Um, I think what happened was both teams came up fired fired up in the first ten minutes. They dropped ball. But nobody could actually yeah, um, get any ascendancy. It was a sloppy start at the beginning, and it was a sloppy start at the end for the Roosters. So, yeah. but the middle section, their defence earned them the right. And I, I know I posted this on Facebook. The defence earned them the right to score the points that they scored because they 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 held the, the Dragons off their line for about four sets, maybe not on a row, but very close to each other. Um, sustained pressure from the Dragons, and they could only score one try at that point. And the Roosters. Um, uh, you know, earned that right, and they took it down there and scored some points, which was great. Sam Walker had another blinder. Um, yep. You know, they just let him do his thing, um, and uh, you know they're about to sign him up, which is good. Five year contract, we mm. were hoping, okay. which would be fabulous news. But look, I thought we were sloppy at the end. Let a try in, which was disappointing, um, and needed to hang on. Otherwise, it would have been a disappointing end to the game. But look, if you if you ne- if, ever get to go to the SCG on Anzac Day, it is an experience. You got to go. It's just sensational. Okay, yeah. let's end yeah. now with um, Amy Park, Melbourne Storm, forty-two against the Warriors, twenty. And poor I was travelling home with poor Warriors too. ripped off. <laughs> poor Warriors ripped off. How do you, how do you how, rip how off? How were they ripped off, right? Oh, Josh Curran was in binned oh, yeah. for an accidental that, head clash. That was a pretty <laughs> innocuous. Thing. Well, he's up before the judiciary, well, so you yeah, are, you tell yeah, me. Yeah, now, now's the challenge. A couple of weeks ago, we were all saying, oh, people are getting hit in the head. We're not doing enough. Now the refs are pulling up everything mm, yep. where it's hit in the head. And, people, and we've got to find this balance. We can't just keep... Yeah. Did he get binned so, as well? Sorry? Did he get binned? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying they got ripped off for. Yeah. yeah. Sure. You know, in the, in the time he's off, you know, the, 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 um, the storm went nuts. Yeah. But you know what? The Storm, look, they are always oh, yeah. they always seem to be in control. Well, I only saw the highlights of this because I was on my way home from mm-hmm. the Roosters game. Um, it looked to me like the Jerome Hughes show. It was. He, oh, is, <laughs> he is becoming a sensational yeah. halfback. He really very is. Much so. And they did it without yeah. Pappenhausen as well. Yep. yep. So. Oh, Nico Hines is a terrible replacement. <laughs> He's not bad, is he? He's not bad. Jeez. They just keep, they just keep developing him. And, you yeah. know, you've got to credit to them as much as well, I hate... 
hate what they, you know. Well, like I said, but, you know, they're coming in to a good team. Yeah. And you know what? They don't play the same as when Pappenhausen's there. Because yeah. Pappenhausen is hunting around the ball. Mm. Nico Hines is just a, a traditional, um, uh, who's the, the Penrith half back, uh, fullback slipped my mind? Edwards. Edwards, same mould as him. Yeah. Yeah. Plays a traditional fullback role. And they the team adjusts to it. Yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Brilliant to watch. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to call it that. The show. Are you guys got anything you want to end with? No. Just no. the ladder. Just Penrith on top with 14 points. Eels, Rabbitohs on 12. Storm and Roosters on 10. There's your top five, and that'll probably remain that way all season. Dragons on eight is the six, and then we have a plethora of teams on six points. Titans, Raiders, Warriors, Knights, Sea Eagles, Cowboys, with uh, poor old Sharkies only on two wins down four, and then the bottom three of the Tigers, Broncos, Bulldogs, with a low, lowly one win. Lowly one win. Mm. And our, tip, our footy tipping ladder, mm-hmm. we've got Brighton 75 in first, along with Amigo Pantera, both on 94 points. <sighs> wow. McManley, 90 points, and Joel Manly Man has come up to 88, equal with me. Good. And I haven't gone any worse. You haven't, so you haven't gone still worse. <laughs> You're still 11. You're still sitting back there. I'm consistent. <laughs> I'm consistent. I'm stable. Oh, you're, you're fourth last. Yeah. Oh. But I haven't used my jokey yet. No. You, you should have. At 40 <laughs> points because to Because the last three weeks have been pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right, gentlemen, that's, that's it for us tonight. Thank you for watching. This is Anna from the sidelines, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.